future Glef here. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it. And uh, I'll see you guys later and enjoy the video. Hello guys, it's me Glef back again. Today I wanted to take time to talk about my top 10 favorite rings in Realm. Rings are the most versatile item in Realm for the fact that you can have it on any class you want. Some rings focuses on DPS and some on Wisdom and MP. There are currently 66 different UT and ST rings in the game. Since most, or you could say all ST rings except the Bloodstone ring is kinda trash, this list will only include UTs. Honorable mentions. These rings they didn't make it to the top 10, they require specific classes or items to be activated, so they are not the best rings in the game generally for all 16 classes. Collector's Monocle. This ring is suitable for the rogue as well as trickster with the turn code from Gems Book. It's a very niche ring but gives the rogue a huge DPS advantage it wouldn't have had otherwise. The Entropy Reactor is very weak by itself. No extra stats, but it's one of the strongest combined with three alien gear items. This ring has been craftable a few times since Month of Madgod 2019 and therefore very rare. Number 10. Ring of Pyramid. Ring of Pyramid is one of the oldest UT rings in the game. It's known for being one of the rings that is suitable for all classes. It's well balanced with 4 defense and 4 attack. This ring suits, I would say, all classes. Since it drops from Tomb of the Ancients, it's one of the easiest good UT rings to get. Number 9. Swordstone. Swordstone drops from Void Entity and is a really good ring for classes that requires a lot of mana. Knight and Assassin is a good choice for this ring. It has a really nice speed bonus of 6 which could be good for melees and staff classes in O3 for example, since the 6 speed could be the difference between life and death in specific phases. Number 8. Potato or the Magical Lodestone. The Potato or the official name Magical Lodestone is a really interesting ring. It sacrifices every HP and many would say just for that it's not worth to have. But it has a strong base stats like 6 attack, 6 defense, 6 speed and 6 dexterity. I would say that Potato has a higher drop chance from MBC than Crown from the Forgotten King. So therefore it could replace the Crown as it's an easier variant to get. Combined with a UBHP or XHP or any HP ring for tanky. Number 7. Battalion Banner. The Battalion Banner is a balanced ring that drops from base of miniboss in Orc's Sanctuary. 90 HP is a decent amount for a ring that also gives 4 speed and 4 dexterity. This gives a balanced amount of DPS by the dexterity and survivability by the 4 speed. The ring also works like a stationary turret that grants you damaging within 3 tiles. Also it does 4 to 600 damage per second around the banner for 4 seconds. It's very good for solo play, but in a group, another ring would be better. Number 6. Chancellor's Cranium. The Cranium drops from one of the hardest mini-bosses in Orc Sanctuary. To get this sweet ring, you have to often go through a hard sick counter, then another hard sick counter. This ring gives you 120 HP as much as an power HP, then 3 dexterity, then 6 defense. You get some extra DPS from the 3 dexterity, but the 6 defense is really nice for tanking stuff. Whenever you get hit above 50 HP, the cranium will spawn and sap enemies around you, dealing 150 damage every 0.2 seconds for 5 seconds. Number 5. Ring of Decades. Oh yes, the ring that is always in stock. This overdupe ring, which is easily obtainable by running some events and trading for life, is the best tradable ring out there. It grants 190 HP straight out. That's it. It is really useful on endgame boss fights where the bullets damage a lot. Lost Halls and Orc Sanctuary would be the perfect places for this ring. If you are lucky, you could get one in your hands by clearing Fungal and Crystal Cavern from the crystals that are in every room. I actually got one on my Paladin PP and it took about 70 Fungals to get. Number 4. The Forgotten Crown. The crown is often looked as one of the best rings in the game. 110 HP and 6 dexterity and 6 attack. It is known for as the best DPS ring in the game. Some rings might give you more DPS, but with 110 HP it makes it doable to wear this ring all the time when you play. It 
works really good on, I would say, any class. This ring also comes from in form of a Christmas variant, which is simply called Ice Crown. It is a really rare ring though, but I would say that it's easier to get than a Decker ring and get easier than an Omni. So it's a really, I would say, easy, high tier ring to get. Number 3. Omnipotence ring. The Omni, which is one of the rarest items in the game, is the all around endgame ring. It gives a decent amount of HP and MP, 80 respectively, done plus 4 in every stat. It's like an extra exaltation on your character, so if you were to have five, plus 5 in every stat, you would have plus 9 in every stat, and that is powerful. This ring has the best sprite out of any U ring in my opinion. The pure white stone with the rainbow colors to represent the stats you get is really cool. It's legal to use on any character except warrior. If you have an Omni on your warrior, you are sentenced to dine with Malthus in the Abyss every night. Number 2. Exalted Squad Horn. The horn drops from Oryx the Man God 3 himself. The boss of the bosses. This ring gives 140 HP, which is as much as an extra HP. Then you get 5 defense, which is really helpful on the class, robe classes as well on melee classes. The special thing with this ring it, uh, is that it gives plus 10 dexterity when above 90% HP. If you are a good dodger, you will for the most of the time have plus 10 dexterity. This is a really good DPS boost to your overall damage. Why I think that this ring is one of the best rings in the entire game is that it has two, the two sides that you want to look for on a ring. 140 HP and 5 defense is really tanky and the 10 dexterity gives the DPS you want for completing stuff faster and granting you the top damage on Orx 3 or Orx 2 for example. Number 1 Wait, I, I said every good ring right? Right? Well, for number 1 I am going to put the snake eye ring as the best ring in the game. This ring is really easily obtained in the snake pit from the boss or from the treasurer. But why, Glefo, would you put a light blue bag ring as the number one? Well, this is a really useful ring for the speedy for two seconds. Not every class have a spe speedy ability, if, and for endgame bosses, where you have to dodge fast, this ring saves your life multiple times. This ring has become the recent meta in O3 runs. The speed for 2 seconds is a lifesaver from specific phases like Futile or Fury, where, where you often die if you get close to a corner and hugging works. And cause this ring is so easily obtainable, I am going to put this as the best ring in the game. You don't have to master any endgame dungeons, just run some snake pits. I really hope you liked my top 10 list of the rings in the game and if you have any other opinions, I am likely like I, I'm glad to hear them down in the comments. So comment if you think that the snake eye ring is the worst ring or the best ring if you agree on my list. Well, that's everything for today. Be sure to catch my next video or stream, and to do that, you have to follow and subscribe and also join my Discord. I am telling a lot of things here.